Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some book reviews, which I've been wanting to do book reviews on my channel for a while now. And I've been recently getting into some books. So I figured I would give you guys some book reviews. So this is going to be my first time reviewing books on this channel. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm very excited. I've really been wanting to talk about the books that I've been reading lately. So I figured I'd try to give you guys a book review without spoiling each book, just in case you guys want to read it as well. But anyways, we're going to jump straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm going to do these in the order that I read them in. So the first book that I read is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. And this book was so good. I gave it four stars and not five stars because I am a... It's kind of hard to get five stars out of me, which is why I gave this book four stars. But it was really good. I connected with the characters. The storyline was really good. It had those moments that made you want to cry. It had those moments that were really, really satisfying. I read this book over a month ago, so it's not really, really fresh in my brain, but I can tell you that it's a really good book. I remember picking this book up because I saw it on TikTok, y'all. Yeah. And before I actually read this book, I was on a binge of self-care books. I've literally been reading self-care books since like 2012. I've been on self-help books since The Secret came out. Like, I needed a break from self-help books. So I saw Kale Lowry. Y'all remember Kale Lowry from, um, what was it called, 16 and Pregnant or Teen Mom? She was on both of those shows. And she started doing book reviews on TikTok and she reviewed this book and I was like, why not let that be the first book that I read this year? So I went ahead and read this. This I read this book I actually read this book in March. I decided that I'm not going to do monthly book reviews. I'm just going to do them whenever I get to them because that's just the vibe I'm on. I really enjoyed reading this book. It only took me a day to read this book so that alone speaks to how much I enjoyed the book. It was really really good. Definitely a page turner. I'm not a huge crier but this book almost made me cry at the end because of it was just so satisfying. I was just so happy. I definitely recommend this book. Like if you want to get into like romance novels and you just want something good to read, I definitely recommend this book. Although I gave it four stars, this book a lot of people gave a five stars. So that book is by Colleen Hoover and after that book I decided I wanted to read another book by Colleen Hoover and this is another book that was also all over TikTok and I was like well let me read it. It's called Verity, okay? It's called Verity and um yeah. This book is honestly so dark and twisted and just... I'm not gonna lie, I could not put this book down. But after I put this book down and I thought about it, I ended up giving this book a three stars. And I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like... I feel like the author gaslit us at the end and I didn't like that. I don't like to be gaslit. I did a little bit of research on this book. From what I discovered I can understand that the author wanted to try a different writing style and I definitely see her point in this book but I don't know. If you like suspense and like you know like kind of like almost almost like a horror vibe but not quite horror then you would really really enjoy this book. I'm the type of person like I will laugh at something that's scary. Like it's supposed to be scary and then I'm laughing. So there was like a specific part in this book that I know was supposed to be scary but I was literally cracking up. I thought it was hilarious but a lot of people didn't think it was hilarious. I ended up looking up the book on TikTok after I finished it because I didn't want any spoilers. All I can say is that I'm not the only person that's at a loss of words with this book. Like what did I even just read? Like, that's how I felt after this. I was a little upset. I was a little mad. And I ain't gonna lie. So I read that one. Now the next book that I read actually got five stars out of me. And it almost didn't. But then I thought about it and I was like, no, it was five stars. And it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, this book is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And she did a phenomenal job with this book. It has like a old Hollywood feel in throughout the entire book and I was really vibing with that. After you read this book you feel so connected to the characters like you really know them. The book was also very relatable. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but I'm gonna tell you guys like a little bit about what's going on in this book. So Evelyn Hugo is like one of Hollywood's biggest stars. The book is written past tense and present tense. So presently she's like an older woman and she's supposed to be auctioning off some of her gowns that she wore to some like you know big Hollywood events or whatever so people are all hyped about it and there's a journalist that's working at a company and Evelyn Hugo specifically wants that person to interview her so the person goes to interview her and then finds that 
she doesn't want to be interviewed she actually wants that person to write her life story so then it starts going from present tense to past tense and she's telling her about each of the husbands each husband has like a chapter there's so many secrets and things that you discover and by the end of the book i was literally holding back tears because uh, it's just I can't talk about it because it's gonna give away the end of the book a little bit so I guess maybe I shouldn't talk about what I wanted to talk about but I just know that the ending really definitely tugged at my heartstrings. This book was just so good though like I think everybody should read this book and my sister actually recommended this book to me. She is obsessed with this book and she told me that they're coming out with either a movie or a series based off of this book in a couple of years. I hope that they come out with it sooner because I would love to I would just love to watch it. This is the last book that I've already completed that I'm done reading and it's Heartbones. I connected with this book on so many levels. The main character Bea definitely experienced some things that I, I'm not familiar with obviously you, you know but there there are certain parts of this book that I just really connected with. I will say this I wasn't a huge fan of the plot twist. I I don't know I wasn't feeling like that but by the end of the book I was satisfied. The book definitely gave me closure because you know you connect to them characters and you want to know like what's happening you want to know what's going to happen. It definitely gave the closure that I needed. This book and reminders of him I would say gave me the most closure out of the books that I've read. But as far as like satisfaction I would say The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was just so satisfying to read and I actually took my time reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This book I read in literally one day. The three Colleen Hoover books that I read I read them all in one day. But I feel like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was written in such a way that you kind of want to take your time with the pages for me at least maybe speak for myself and also I will say this I know I'm going back to this book and I'm talking about a whole different book but when I first picked this book up I read maybe the first 10-15 pages and it took me a minute to come back to it because I just wasn't sucked in like how I thought I would have been because it was like I said it was recommended by my sister I was like well I'm not you know I'm not connecting with it like that but once it got going it got going and I was so excited to pick this book up at the end of the day that I didn't even want to rush it. I wanted to take my time with it and I'm so glad that I did. So far this is my favorite book that I've read and then I will say reminders of him. But going back to Heartbones, the ending of the book was very satisfying. This book definitely left me wanting more of Colleen Hoover and I did order quite a bit of Colleen Hoover books because of reminders of him. I ordered reminders of him off of Amazon. I borrowed Verity from my sister. I also borrowed this book from my sister and then I ordered two more Colleen Hoover books and I'm actually reading let me put this one so I'm done talking about that one so I actually ordered a couple more Colleen Hoover books I ordered it ends with us and it starts with us it ends with us is first and then this one is second so I'm reading it ends with us and I'm not very far in this book I'm only on page 17 and so far I like it I like the really deep conversation that's happening in the book I'm very excited to see where it goes and then after I read this I'm going to probably read it starts with us so this is what I'm currently reading and then and then Daisy Jones and the Six is next on my reading list I also ordered a couple more books that's supposed to be coming I ordered my books from thrift books I'll leave it in the description it's basically secondhand books that you get for a much cheaper price than you would pay for if you bought it from Barnes and Nobles or Amazon and let me just show you guys an example so these two books I ordered from thrift books and like what is the difference for real like it's really no difference um this one has this one has like a little crease down the middle or whatever but I don't really don't care about that at all let me show you guys what books I ordered okay so I have a package on the way from thrift books and I ordered these two books that were reckon that were recommended to me from Twitter so seven days in June by Tia Williams and then before I let go by Kennedy Ryan so I'm excited to read those as well so I have five books on my to read list and I'm very excited to read those and I already read four books so so yeah we're getting some reading done I'm very happy about that so that's my book review and those are all the books on my to read list right now if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comment section down below and let me know if you're interested in reading any of the books that I talked about today I really wanted to tell you guys about the books more but I just really don't want to spoil it for you guys so if I didn't go in depth like you guys really want just let me know maybe I could do another maybe I'll do another video I don't know but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video